With rolling blackouts still happening in the territories, we have new information regarding the local energy state of emergency. That local state of emergency put into effect back in April. It was set to expire in 30 days, but an extension was requested by Governor Bryan for another 30 days. Incident Commander Jennifer O'Neill said in a news briefing that the new state of emergency is set to expire June 21st. According to O'Neill, that Incident Command's goal is to restore and maintain energy security in the U.S. Virgin Islands while assisting WAPA with, with becoming current with its vendors and avoiding outages and blackouts. The secondary objective in the response to the state of emergency in order of priority are to complete the VTOL acquisition transaction, to intervene and complete the negotiations to restart the Watsilla project, to effectuate payment to seven C's for water production, fund the implementation of the management turnaround company, renegotiate a fuel transportation agreement with VTOL, fast track the interconnection study for new renewal electricity battery agreements and the estate Petronella solar site. To ensure that WAPA can meet obligations to bondholders and creditors in the short term and to develop options to reduce WAPA expenses and increase revenues. The BI government has paid more than $10 million to WAPA for past due utility bills from Snyder Medical Center and the Juan F. Lewis Hospital and Waste Management Authority. WAPA has paid a Greco for the 18 generators that at least is on St. Croix, has paid seven C's for the operation and maintenance of reverse osmosis plants, and will be paying Wartzilla shortly. Meantime, in response, Congresswoman Stacey Plaskett reaffirms her willingness to work with Governor Bryan and his administration through the continued struggle to operate an efficient water and power authority. Plaskett urges all parties to work together to create a stable utility system that supports the people and businesses of the Virgin Islands. Plaskett said, quote, Transparency is important, and I recognize that such a declaration is difficult to make, but I appreciate the governor addressing the real-time concerns of Virgin Islanders as it pertains to WAPA.